Okay, we're gonna get started here. If we can all be real quiet so we can hear, that'd be great. <laughs> Obeying the command of our Lord Jesus Christ and very confident of his presence with us today, we've come to baptize those who have heard and responded to his call. Today from Fairview Avenue Church, that's Addie Cox and Abby Worker. And uh, we have a great privilege of having uh, folks from the Experience Life Church today with us. And we're baptizing the sunlight. So we're glad to be all together. Let's uh, pray as we begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gathering. And we thank you that we are here to honor you and to recognize a new life in Jesus Christ. In fact, several of you. Lord, we thank you for all that you've given us through the cross of Jesus Christ. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for uh, baptism which represents your death and resurrection. Lord, we ask that you would bless this day, bless this time. May you be honored in everything that we do. We pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 In Jesus Christ, God has promised to forgive our sins. And he's joined us together in a family, as the family of God, which is his church. He has delivered us from darkness. He's transferred us to the kingdom of light and the kingdom of his beloved son, Jesus Christ. God has promised to be our father, to receive us as brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The promises of God are for you, and for each of you who is being baptized today. We are sharing in God's reconciling work, and you will also share in his gift that dying with Christ to sin and being raised to new life with baptism symbolizes. Elizabeth, as you are, <laughs> Abby, Abby, as you are being baptized today, uh, you're declaring your faith in Jesus Christ in front of the church and announcing that you are Jesus' obedient servant. Have you put your faith in Jesus Christ and received him as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you believe that he's forgiven your sins and chosen, and you've chosen to follow him for your whole life? Then on confession of your faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, I ask your, your very great blessing on this young woman, and I thank you for her testimony to Jesus being her Savior and Lord. And I ask you to bless her life, and I pray that you will follow with her, give her just a sense of your close presence through her whole life. And I pray, God, that you will help her to follow you all the days of her life. We ask your blessing, and we give you thanks for her and her family, and we pray Again, your blessing in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Next person being baptized today is Addie Cox. You're going to come right down. Good morning, Lisa. Good is <laughs> All right, if you'll turn your face <laughs> All right. Addie, I'm going to ask you, have you put your faith in Jesus Christ and received him as your Lord and Savior? All right. 
Do you believe that he has forgiven your sins and you've chosen to follow him through your whole life? All right, then would you kneel down, please? confession of your faith, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. tradition, we do things a little bit differently. We uh, typically baptize backwards into the water, so that's what I'm going to do with Micah and, and us. Um, so, uh, Micah, did you did you watch what uh, they were doing? We've talked about baptism quite a, quite a bit. Um, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior? Alright. So, um, do you believe that he died on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. And do you want to choose to follow him for the rest of your life? Yes? Okay. So, go ahead and hold your nose. Can you turn this way a little bit? Alright. So based on your confession as on Jesus as Lord, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Into Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I'm going to pray for Micah, and then we're just going to pray, uh, do a closing prayer, and pray a blessing over uh, all of them as a as a unit. Okay, so Father, we thank you for Micah and what you've already done in his heart, and that he has chosen to obey Jesus and go into the waters of baptism to show that his old life is dead and buried, and he lives through Jesus in you, Lord. And so we just ask blessing over him. In the name of Jesus, that he would walk with you and that you would walk with him all the days of his life. That his life would be a light to many, Lord, as they see you living in and through him. Lord, give him strength and courage to do what you've called him to do and to be who you've called him to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Those of you who are with or, or near those who have been baptized, um, go ahead and either uh, just rest a hand on them or, or stretch your hand out towards them if you'd like. Lord, 
We know that those who trust in you already have your spirit, but there is something powerful in the act of obedience and baptism. Father, you've already brought them from death to life, from the dominion of darkness into the kingdom of the Son you love. They've stepped off the throne of their own lives and declared allegiance to King Jesus. And now we ask, Holy Spirit, would you come? Would you come upon them in power that they'd be filled to overflowing? Father, that your Holy Spirit would baptize them afresh in your love and with the fire of your presence. That rivers of living water would flow from within their bellies such that everyone who encounters them would have an encounter with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you, Abby and Addie and Micah, with the promises of God which he always fulfills. May the Holy Spirit make you healthy and strong in body, mind, and spirit. We bless your mind to dwell on the lovely, the uplifting, and the encouraging. We bless you to walk in the righteousness, peace, and joy that is part of the kingdom of God. We bless your mind to be strong, disciplined, balanced, and faith-filled. We bless your ears to hear his voice clearly and to shut out the lies of the enemy. We bless your eyes to see what he sees and to see others through the eyes of love. We bless your hands to be tender helping hands to those in need, hands that bless. We bless your feet to walk in holiness and your steps to be ordered by the Lord, to run from evil and to run towards what is good. We bless your heart to be humble and receptive to the things of God. May the word of God live in you and may God give you spiritual strength to overcome the evil one. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.